So, I don't, hopefully you can hear me. I decided to get out of the house today. Thank you so much for joining my channel. This is Rocky. And this is where I talk about fashion, lifestyle, beauty, and a little bit about my city, Chicago. And uh, today we're doing a little bit of um, both Chicago and fashion. So I'm downtown Chicago now. Decided to venture outside the house. Haven't been out in fresh air in quite some time. So I decided to um, go to my office today and, um, you know, risk it all. Look in the background. See? Chicago! Um, but anyway, that being said, I went to the office and um, I wasn't too far away from Zara. Zara is having their an big annual sale that you know after Christmas and in January and then I think January and into February they have this huge clearance sale that they do and typically I wait until it, the until the end of it the tail end of it and I think that's where you get the best prices now the inventory isn't the best but you do get the best prices so we're about to head in there thankfully it's kind of chilly out as you can see how I'm how I'm dressed it's kind of chilly out um, but there is no line no line I can go right in so I might show you a little bit and then afterwards I will show you what I got um, cool thing is tonight you'll see this I kind of shoot my videos in advance tonight for the first time I'm going to be going live on YouTube and the people there will probably see what I bought before this airs So that was pretty good actually. It was, there was a lot more in stock and uh, the prices were low. Usually you have to wait. Like I said, I usually wait until the end to get certain prices, but the prices were low off the jump. The prices range anywhere, for the most part, they range anywhere from $5.99 to $29.99. You had a few items that were like coats, heavier coats and stuff like that that were uh, $69.99 and a few nicer blazers that were $39.99. So um, I intended to, I gave myself a budget and I didn't even, I just ignored that budget. The things were so nice. Um, I gave myself a budget of $100 and I spent with tax $166. What I wanna do for you guys is show you what all I got, but I'm just gonna show you what I got only styling um, the items from this from this haul so show you that that they can go together they there is some interchangeability and styleability between the pieces so uh, i am hot because it was hot in there and uh, i can't breathe uh but yeah okay you can't see me very well but it is the next day and um i want to show you my outfit i am wearing shoes which is something i don't do normally in the house but um, I wanted to show you this outfit and, um, yeah, see what we came up with. I'm supposed to be going, well, I'm not supposed to be. I am going to um, a board meeting for equality should be normal today. Gives me a reason to get out the house and, you know, be amongst some other folks. So I decided to, every time I go to anything that, you know, nowadays, uh, anything that requires going to see other people, I do put on very nice clothes so this is my outfit i'm going to show it a couple ways i'm going to show it like this so this is just a you know I, i'm sure you see me haul all of this stuff at this point but this is just a leaf uh sort of bodycon dress this is oh you haven't seen this yet but you will um well by the time this airs you will have seen this but um this is a free people belt that i hauled and then i'm going to talk a little bit about the shoes and the socks in a minute 
All right, so ignore all the shoes here in the background. But so again, this is a, a bodycon dress from Leaf, um, which is not something that I n normally wear, but I just felt like wearing it today. And then this is a Free People, um, sort of a suede or faux suede uh, belt. And I am having the hardest time trying to figure out how to style this thing. It just has a lot, a lot of fabric. But I do like having something that breaks up the whole look of a bodycon dress. So it's not just all hourglass and that's all people see. So for me, I have wide hips. So this just, for me, distracts from the hips. Especially with this piece coming down here. It just kind of distracts from the hip area. And then the shoes I want to talk about. I had a completely different um, outfit idea in mind for today. I got inspired by, I don't watch that show Briggerton or Bridger, Bridgerton, whatever it's called. Um, but I saw some outfit inspiration from it. And today I was going to actually do like a garden dress with some heels and some socks with lace, you know, in, in kind of inspired by that TV show. Um, but I didn't put it on, but once I thought about it, I'm like, it's not, it's, I'm not feeling that for tomorrow. So then I came up with another version. So body con belt plus I still did the heels with the socks. These are some, um, hopefully you can see that. Yeah. These are some, um, sheer socks. They're like stockings and they have embroidered roses on them. And then these shoes, I got a really long time. These Mary Jane shoes, um, with the chunky sole. I got them from, um, uh, Banana Republic. Uh, but yeah, that's all super comfy, comfy, comfy look. I feel comfortable in it, you know, because this is all like knit. It just feels like PJs really, but PJs that shows your lady lumps. <laughs> so let's get into what I bought from Zara real quick. I'm going to speed through that and then I need to get on my way out. I just switched over to a different camera and we're going to do sit down for the rest of this and I'm going to show you cutaways and things like that. But I was really pleased with what I got from Zara. So typically when the Zara sale happens, it, it takes a while for the prices to tumble down. I found that the prices were nearly at what I'd expect to see towards the end of the sale. Um, everything, like I said, when I was walking back to the car ranged from $5.99 to basically $29.95. And then you had some, you know, th bits and bobs outside of that price, like coats and stuff. But very fair pricing, in my opinion. And very, I want to say that this is probably one of the cutest hauls that I've ever done. So let's get right into it. The very first item, you guys know or probably have noticed the trend that I've been buying a lot of sleeved um, maxi midi dresses. Because I'm just trying to get things that are comfortable for, comfortable for the home and provides coverage and warmth. Um, so this is one of them. This is an olive green. There's many ways to say this green. Olive green, khaki green, army green, whatever. But you know what color I'm saying. Olive green uh, dress with sheer um, arms. And it is a sort of midi to maxi length almost. But it's, it's more midi for most people. With a little bit of ruffle here at the bottom. Um, I really, really like this dress. Um, I also, as I go through this, um, will show you how I styled this a few other ways with some of the other things I got in here. But, real talk, I think that, you know, super um, comfortable. This was, I got an extra small and then this one, okay, so original price was $69.90 and I got it for $19.99. Alright, the next item is this wonderful chunky, um, chunky brown sweater. I came in actually somewhat with an agenda when I went shopping. I told myself I was looking for more pastels because I don't really have much, but aside from pink, because I went through a pink phase, but you know, varying pastel shades, pastel colors I did not have. And then the Browns family, their brown is in, and I do like brown, so I'm like, why don't I have more brown aside from khaki brown, you know? So I wanted to get some, you know, a range, get in that range of different browns that are available. So I found this beautiful, chunky um, knit cardigan sweater that has pockets. It's really wonderful. Um, I can pair it over just about anything because obviously brown is uh, neutral. Um, this one was, this one actually is surprising. I didn't even look at the before and after. Um, it was uh, 
$49.90 before and it was $25.99. I sized up in this because again, I'm looking for that oversized comfy slouchiness. It comes small, medium, large, extra large. I got this in a medium and I absolutely love the fit. This next item is what kicked off the whole shopping, honestly. I walked in the door and I was taking a little bit um, while well, I was trying to see where should I start my footage. And boom, I saw this beautiful lilac shade. Lilac does not get enough credit or uh, no, uh, attention, I don't know. But this satin, silk, whatever we want to call this, lilac top, it has the draping all in the right places, balloon sleeves. It's cropped with the little, um, with the tie um, around the waist. Um, there's a name for it's floss floss waist is what this is called when it ties across the waist and kind of whatever I don't even know why floss ties or floss lace um, Everything appeared to be cropped in terms of tops for some reason. I think we're entering into a, a crop phase <laughs> Or maybe we were in a crop phase and I missed it and didn't realize it But like most things in there were cropped and um, I'm always super conscious about my stomach area so um, I, I didn't mind this it had the ties and then of course uh, what's a pro about all of this is that high waist items are in high waisted skirts high waisted jeans whatever your bottoms are high waisted so a lot of people a lot more people can get away with cropped items because you do have that coverage from your bottoms so this one to me super super cute but this kicked it all off I'm like yes <laughs> so this next item is a super super cute I ended up sizing up on this again it's in the brown family this is like a dusty brown um, thick um, if, if it looks like it feels like a cashmere wool blend it is not itchy to the skin at all it's actually very very soft um, I don't know what this is made of typically everything is viscose these days but let's see what it's made of so this one's acrylic nylon viscose polyester and wool and elastane so it had one of the things that I said it felt like which is the wool but and, and I, everything I said has viscose these days <laughs> um, but yeah this one shoulder deal is so so nice I sized up this comes in a small medium large I got this in a medium because I, for two reasons one I see myself layering this over things and I was concerned that a small would um, be would not allow me to do that Two, they didn't have a small, and I still really love this. And three, this tie here on the side gives you the option of being able to um, cinch it in and make it tighter. Um, so yeah, I went for the medium and felt comfortable with that. So even, um, I'll show you here, I actually, remember I said like a lot of these pieces are interchangeable and can be worn together. I even paired this uh, one shoulder deal over the khaki green or the army green shirt that I showed you, I mean dress that I showed you before. So I think that, you know, if you think long and hard enough, there are so many different things in your wardrobe that you can pair together. But I just wanted to show that these are not just disparate pieces. I can pair these together with the things that I bought. And then of course I have a ton of things in my wardrobe that I can wear this with. Um, I could even honestly um, wear this over what I have right now so it it is very uh, a very versatile piece even though it is a one shoulder and on its face may seem difficult to wear but you can put this over things and wear it by itself the original price for this one was $39.90 and I got it for $19.99 the next item I got was a really cute pair of um, slacks and I think the last thing I need in my life right now is another pair of black pants. But black is just so nice. You guys know, it's like the little black dress. You can never have enough black dresses. And I think you can never have enough pairs of black pants. So this one is different than anything else that I own in my wardrobe. These are a fully satin. I have satin skinny pants, but I don't have satin wide leg trousers like this. This is awesome. Has pockets, perfect pleating. It has an elastic waist, so it does. It, it just sits wherever you need it to sit. Um, it has one fake pocket here uh, in the back, but that the way that it drapes, the way that it moves, is amazing. It's really, really long, um, but I feel like I can. I don't know if I want to keep it this way and then just kind of earmark this as something that I'm always going to wear with heels or really thick-soled items, or do I want to get it tailored? I'm just. I'm going to think on that one. 
but uh, I got this one in an extra small uh, it comes from it goes extra small to double extra large uh, the original price on this was I got this for $15.99 and the original price, I can't, I can't get to it. Can't get to it. Oh, the original price was forty-five ninety. So not, not bad. The next item is yet another item in the chocolate or brown family. This, I think, is probably the cutest thing that I bought in this haul. And you know, I don't know. Fight me, fight me on it. I don't know. But this is a crop sweatshirt. Um, and it's brown and normally like you like brown it's kind of boring whatever but the way that they crop this and cut, man I would have never really thought to get a cropped sweatshirt but in this case something about it drew me to it and I and if, I don't know if I told you this you can't try things on in Zara at the moment so you kind of got to do a lot of guesswork I'm just kind of holding things up to myself looking at it and trying to figure out okay is this gonna fit the way that I think it's gonna fit but um, I so far, I think I've eyeballed these things pretty well and everything fits nicely. So I looked at this one and I thought this would be flattering. I got this one. It comes small, medium, large. I got this in a small. The original price was $25.90. I got it for $12.99. Now let me tell you about it. So first of all, it is, it's wide so it gives you a very loose, relaxed fit. It um, sort of has a U shape at the waistline which is awesome so it kind of comes down on the sides and kind of show, so you're not showing every everything just sort of like a little bit of your midriff um, the sleeves are wide they're not ballooned but they are wide like as if this were a normal sweatshirt the neckline goes all the way up so you're not showing too much you're already showing your midriff you got full arms full neck so it kind of keeps it modest a little bit um, it this cropping is repeated in the back so you have that super cute uh, U-shape going on both sides, the horseshoe shape on both sides. Now, where it gets super, super cute and, and, and interesting, because I didn't even notice this in the store, is that it has a drawstring here at the waist, and when you pull it, it um, crops it a little bit more, to be fair, so if that's something you're not interested in and you wouldn't want to pull this, but it gives this like a paper bag top type of shape. Like... <laughs> It changes, it completely changes the dynamic of this top. So for people who like to um, find pieces with a lot of versatility, interchangeability, for those of you who like to have more of like a capsule wardrobe, this, my friend, is great. Because you can wear this with sweats, you can wear this with jeans, you could wear it with a skirt, you can balloon it so it's a little bit more stylized, you can leave it cropped and loose. There's so many things you can do with this top. I don't know if it comes in any other colors besides the chocolate, but this is such a beautiful color. Um, I don't see why you wouldn't because it's, it's very luxe. But anyway, enough about this top, let's move on. The next item for you sustainability capsule people, this is awesome. This is amazing. So I don't know if you know this, but for 2021, one of the big styles are um, super big oversized shirts, like button down type shirts. And um, I like that concept because you know you, you get a lot of coverage. So if you're not feeling particularly good about how you look that day, you can just throw one of these things on and you are good to go. But this one is one of those things, super, large big whatever shirt or whatever and you can wear it just as that like a shirt you know I've styled it that way for you guys where I put put it with the cool wide satin pants and I'm feeling really cool really relaxed but it's styled you could pop a belt on that if you wanted to if you didn't like how loose it is but you could pop a belt on it and add a little definition to your waist but still wear it as a shirt and keep it sort of unbuttoned down at the bottom so it's clear that it's a shirt the other way that you can wear this, which you've been seeing me do this a lot because I am obsessed with, you know, the shirt dress with the wide belt right now. Um, you could totally wear this as uh, a dress on its own, like no pants underneath. You could pop some leggings on, tights on, nothing on, heels on, sneakers on. There's so many ways you can rock this, but you can so wear this as um, a dress as well. The other thing you could do is just wear this almost like a overcoat or a jacket. There's nothing that stops you from doing that either, um, keeping it completely open 
and just wearing it over you know a dress or something like that so this has a lot of versatility oh i got this in an extra small the it comes extra small through extra large i got this in a, uh, this cost originally 35.90 and i got this for 15.99 now the last piece is probably the most controversial in my opinion i am o i h m o in my humble opinion i think it's cute However, it is somewhat trendy. When I look at it, it, it says 80s, so which means um, five, 10 years from now, I probably won't wanna wear this. Um, the other thing is it is a very distinct, unique, uh, identifiable color. So I'm not sure how many times I'll be able to wear it before someone says, damn, she's always wearing that, that item. Then the other thing about it is that Again, I couldn't try things on, so I guessed at the size, so I'm not really sure if this is the right size or not. And then the last thing is I bought this because I saw someone else wearing it. I was influenced. <laughs> so I bought this because I saw someone else wearing it. It inspired me to want to have it. The girl looked, I mean, just perfect in this thing. Like her curves were hidden, hidden from every angle in, in this thing. So let me show it to you. Here is the item. It is a bright red faux leather ruched skirt. Now this ruching says all, uh, everything about this says 80s. The color, the ruching, all of this says 80s. Um, so the concern of it is that, okay, so this comes extra large, extra small through large. I got this in an extra small because I was holding it up. I held it up to myself. It just looked like this would, extra small would be my size. The original price on this one was $39.90 and I got it for $15.99. It, let's look at this cutaway. It fits me well. It doesn't move up and down when I walk, so it, it stays in place, which is, you know, another indicator sometimes that you just need to sometimes size up. Um, it fits so comfortably. The inside of this is like that, it's full suede, but it feels so soft. Um, against my skin so I feel like I'm wearing a knit um, something that's more you know lounge wear something that I wear around the house so it does not feel highly stylized when I when I wear it I don't feel constricted in any way whatever um, the thing is it is it is tight on it, it, it appears to be tight on the bum now there's a couple ways you can think about this maybe it's too tight one or maybe um, you know it's supposed to fit like that too Three, I probably need to look the skirt up online and see what the intended fit is. But three, um, I'm a woman. I have curves and maybe I embrace that. Maybe I'm, I should be okay with my bum popping out of the back. <laughs> Not popping out in the sense that you can see my booty, but it's like, you know. So anyway, um, I would love your opinion on this skirt. I'm not saying I'll take your opinion, but I just would love to know, you know, what you think about it. Um, I was considering if I wanted to size up on this one because you can't, since you can't try things on, you do have like a 30 day uh, period to return things if it's, if it's not quite your size. So I don't know. I'm thinking I could possibly go and exchange this for a small instead of the extra small, but I do like the skirt itself. I could style it with many of the things here. Um, I know it may not seem like it. You could totally pair it with the, if you want to be hooch, you could pair it with the one arm uh, sweat sweater. And the reason why I say hoochie is because if you if your if your legs are out, you should cover up top. If your arms are out, you should cover down below. That's typically the rule of thumb. But uh, you know, in fashion, you dress organically. If you want everything out, you just friggin' wear everything out. <laughs> I could rock it with the chocolate if I want to. Um, again, I could I could rock it with the lilac, which is a bit unconventional, but again, it, it goes, whatever. They're on the opposite ends of the, uh, they're contrasting colors, they're on the opposite ends of the color wheel, so it works. Um, oh, the other thing is pretty cool. So again, we were talking about um, this being hooch, but if if that if you feel too um, not covered, you could wear this sweater over it because while this is sort of a chocolate color, it's a reddish brown, and it sort of pulls out the red from this. And you could do all three of these together and cover your arms, and now you know just have this underneath as your bottom or whatever. So 
all of this stuff I feel really great about feel really they're interchangeable you again they fit right into my wardrobe and to me I feel like this was one of the better hauls that I've done in a really really long time I think that I'm going to give it a little time and see how the prices go down even further. There were a few items that would have been nice to have. And that, like I said, I came in there with a $100 budget and these things I just felt like I need, I wanted to have them. And if I waited, I may not get my size or they may run out or may not get my size. So I did not want to wait on those items. I feel like I may go back and uh, see what they have for the, you know, once they get a little cheaper for the $2.99 through the $9.99 price range or, or the, what do you call it, third, how did it go, $12.99. The $2.99 to $12.99 price range, I'll wait and see what happens um, as these, they, they discount like every week until everything is gone. So we'll go back in a couple weeks and see what happens and I'll keep you posted. All right, that brings us to the end. That is all I gotta get going. Um, I wanna stop at a cafe before I get to my meeting and I just wanted to make sure I wrapped up the, the vlog that I started yesterday. Um, I did my first YouTube live video yesterday as well, so you probably will recognize the outfit that I had on when I was filming this vlog in my live. Uh, <laughs> It was it was interesting. So I would love for you to check that out. I'll probably I'll pop the link somewhere here so you can go and check out my live. But thank you so much for watching today. Uh, thank you as usual for supporting me. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. Share it with your friends. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know which pieces that you liked, which pieces that you didn't quite like so much that you think probably need to go back. <laughs> And are you inspired to go and check out this Zara sale? Thank you so much. Bye.